Her title is One Paycheck Away from Being Homeless. Okay. She's on uh, YouTube here. And it looks like because so many people have now done her videos, she's a little upset at that. She got a whole other video out here. But um, let's hear what she got to say while she um, she's working, while she's uh, telling her story. Shout out to her. Her name is Markeisha Renee. Hello, it's your girl, Markeisha Renee. Y'all. I am in the middle of doing Uber Eats and DoorDash, and I decided to go ahead and pick up the camera and talk to you guys a little bit about some stuff that has been on my mind. Well, actually, stuff that's always on my mind, you guys. Um, hopefully, the road noise of the car does not get to y'all, because I know in the past people have told me that the car noise is so loud when I'm talking, so I do apologize. Yo, whoever is uh, being uh, Willie Williams live chat, make sure you send that to him because he might want to hear that on the last story, child. Being alone, having to work 24-7 just to be able to keep up with bills. Oh, wait a minute. Having to work 24-7. Bro, so I'm going to try to talk as loud as I can, but I just wanted to touch on being a single mom and living alone, having to work 24 seven, just to be able to keep up with bills. Um, you know, majority of my income is what supports the kids and I don't have very much income. So I literally have to grind, grind, grind and make money every day in order to stay afloat. And that's just stay afloat. My head is still sink, sinking, you guys. Like I'm probably, the water is probably gonna stop water this. Like I can, <laughs> Listen, y'all see what I'm trying to get at? The water is up to here on me, you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much drowning. And it's like, when you talk to people about this stuff, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all, I'm trying to talk loud. My voice is cracking. When you talk to people about this stuff or try to, you know, have somebody understand where you're coming from, they like to say, oh, well, go get a second job or go get a man. Um, go get a side hustle, all this stuff. I got side hustles, y'all. Y'all already know that. So, you know, they like to say, oh, go do this, go do that. And it's like, I don't mind working. I, You know, y'all, my work ethic is so crazy. Like, I'll work till the wheels fall off. I'll work to death. I'll kill myself working. That's how much I don't mind working. Because I know that I have to make money and I know that I have to take care of these kids. But when people say that stuff, it just makes me think in the back of my head, like, do y'all know that if I was to literally work 24 hours a day seven days a week that i would never see my kids why does life have to be like this why do all right so since she asked the question okay so a lot of people have uh, done this video and that's good for her she got a lot of views so she should be getting paid from it okay she should add this view to the list um why does life have to be like this? Life is like this because of the consequences of the choices that were made. Now, I don't know how she became a single mom. I don't know if she's divorced. I don't know none of that. None of that. Okay. Uh, I don't even know if she got two or three kids. I feel like it's three, but I'm not really sure because I'm not that well invested. But it doesn't have to be this way if we decide on uh, a decent person to have as being the uh, father of our children. Okay. So I'm going to just put it like that because I'm going to try to be nice today. Okay. I'm going to try to be nice today. She asked the question. She asked the question. So if you deal with Pook Nug, and I don't know that she dealt with Pook Nug, but why are you not allowing the father to watch the kids while you out doing your side hustles and your Uber Eats and your DoorDash? And where are he or they at to help? Because they should be here helping. Now, if they ain't ish, were they not ish beforehand? Can we tell the truth about that? Were they not ish beforehand? Or are they, child, can we even say Wells Fargo since people over there dying for four days and people don't even know it, but is he the VP at Wells Fargo or maybe he's one of them people in the last video that we just watched? Because all those things do matter even though y'all try to act like everybody changes. I know that people can change though, but everybody changes once the baby comes. Everybody changes uh, once you get pregnant. Everybody does. Everybody. Bueller. I'm just saying. So that matters. And again, and I don't know her situation completely, but typically if it was hard with the first one, why have a second one? Why have a third one? And so on and so on and so on. But then there's people, shout out to Ebony K. Williams, that will allow people to think, black people, black women in particular, that it's okay for you to be a single mother, to go ahead and have kids. You don't need no man. You don't need to get married. And that blah, 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 blah continues and then we got a million and one videos showing and proving how that's not the case. Shout out to all the eviction videos. 
and all the people that are getting their life advice from TikTok instead of figuring out what's really real on your own. Child, good segue to say, make sure that you subscribe to Messy Michonne Reacts and watch those videos as well. Shout out to Casey Cat. Thank you so much, hon. She said, not sure what's better, these folks wilding or Michonne reacting to these folks wilding. <laughs> oh, sheesh. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say it's a combination of both because without those videos, it is nothing to react to. But thank you so much, hon. I appreciate you. Everybody's still here. Please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you are new. We have to be away from our kids in order to make money. Then, then make sure that you're established first and then you have the means before you have children. Now, mind you, things can still happen. So that's where plan A, B, C, and D come in. But, you know, people don't want to listen to that and say, uh, you don't know what you're talking about. Fine, I don't know what I'm talking about. Then go listen to people that actually know. How many times do I have to say Susie Ormond, Dave Ramsey, hell, Melody Hobson, and anybody else that tells you about finance and money? And let's not act like that the community has a great grasp of financial literacy. We've shown improved millions of times that there's no grasp of it because until you get that part right the rest of it is probably not going to work out that well for you and if it does then you're effing lucky but you have people who want to tell you that you need to go ahead and vote for the person that's allegedly black because of racism white supremacy as they are people who were able to be on the come up to be able to be millionaires and telling you that you can't do it because of white supremacy and racism but I don't know why y'all would listen to me because I'm Auntie Ruckus around here. In today's world, why do we have to be away from our kids 24-7 in order to be able to have a roof over our head? It shouldn't be like this. The cost of living is inhumane. The cost of goods and services is inhumane, you guys. This is not normal. And it makes me so upset because people are always like, oh, you're always complaining about you know, how you're struggling and how you can't do this and that. Yeah, because I'm a single mom of three kids. I'm going to complain all day. Okay, so single mom of three. All right, we don't know if it's a three by one, three by two, or a three by three. So she's single mom of three. And I haven't watched this video, but I'm going to assume that there's no help from the men. And it is okay, in my opinion, but what the hell do I know, to allow the person that you was able to open up them legs and take all that pleasure from to watch their own kids. How about that? Is, is that not an option? Because I feel like I never hear anyone saying that. I feel like I never hear anyone say that, you know, uh, I'm going to go ahead and you can watch the kid. You can take the kid, get on the schedule, child, whatever it is that y'all do. But again, what do I know, y'all? Hey, it's hard. It's not easy. So I wonder why people make it seem like this is so easy. I, it can't be. I think because I'm talking about it and I'm saying something about it, it triggers some people. I don't know why, but um, yo, I'm doing DoorDash, so I got some orders popping up. All right, my bad, you guys. I just picked up a DoorDash order. Um, but it's like, I don't even know where I was at, y'all. But I'm just wondering, why do we have to work this hard? I want to tell you guys right now, every month, I'm one month away from being homeless. Every single month, you guys. I cannot afford my rent every single month. But I sit here. And I do everything that I can to scrape up this money to try to pay this rent every single month. But every month, I don't have it. I'm going to just keep it 100 with you guys. I don't have it. But I get up every day and I try to get it every day. Some of y'all know I'm working a job that pays nothing, you guys. It pays $18 an hour. I don't even get full-time hours at the job. So when I'm spending, you know, days at the job, the commute to the job and then the commute home is a full, full, full day. My kids are being watched by somebody for a full, full, full day. I didn't make enough money. So the kids are being watched by somebody. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that none of the baby daddies are uh, watching the kids, helping with the kids or whatever it is that's going on. But, you know, that's everybody else's problem and it's the economy's problem. But these same people watch them videos on Reacts. Please go ahead and subscribe to Miss Mish on Reacts. These are the same people who are complaining about single mothers. They never mention the effing fathers, the, the males, the significant others, the whatever. They never, ever mention it. It's a fucking theme. I'm sorry, y'all, but I'm tired of this story 
that you are so put upon because we live in the same economy. I live in the same economy. Y'all live in the same economy. And I'm not saying that it's great. I'm not saying that it's great at all. I have put off uh, putting in another Instacart order because I'm like, all right, we be all right until like next week. Not because it's that bad, but because I don't want to pay for it unnecessarily. We don't eat all the food in this damn house before we go ahead and get something else. So we all going to have to make adjustments. However, you are sitting up here complaining. We have been listening. How long have we been listening to these complaints, y'all? We've been listening to complaints about the daggone eggs is high. The milk is high. Everything is high. Gas is high. The can't afford rent. Housing is a human right. I can't live here. I can't live there. The government don't work. Texas don't help. Georgia don't help. Nobody helps. And you will go and vote for the same shit where you're complaining about it. Let me acknowledge um, OS1 Sailor Mine. Shout out to you. He said she can join the military. Well, she probably can't because she got three kids. But when you tell, you know, black people to join the military, that's racist too, okay? Don't fight for this co- this country. This country done did us wrong. It's not right. It's not fair. Why would you? Why would you? Why would you? Every uncle that I've ever had, including my father, as y'all know, has been a military person and they lived in severe racist times and somehow some way they all came up with the exception of one but he was in the military too but he was an alcoholic all right so one out of about 15 to 20 i'm thinking that that's pretty good odds right there the benefits my father is still benefiting from those benefits to this day so salute to all the veterans which everyone doesn't necessarily want to acknowledge that they're going to tell you that that's not for you not you, um, Sailor Man, Sailor Mine. But I'm just saying, you you can't do that either. Don't want to fight for this country, but you want something from this country is the crazy part. Whether it's uh, reparations, whether it is Section 8, whether it's food stamps, uh, housing is a human right, whatever it is. And, there's no, and I think that there's benefit to being in the military. Now, that's not for me. It was never going to be for me. And I chose the path that I chose and I made it work. So why can't all of us with the past that we have, make it work instead of trying to blame someone else. That's the only part that pisses me off about these things. Not necessarily her, but all the complaints over on TikTok is that you think that the economy is doing you wrong like the rest of us don't live in that same economy. We live in the same situations that you do. Just because we're not necessarily um, one whatever away from homelessness, that don't mean that we don't have problems, but no one wants to acknowledge that type of stuff. It's only you. You're the only one that matters because you're a single mom or or you got kids or the man ain't here or whatever the reasons are. We all got to live with it too. We all got to live with the same damn thing. It's a matter of how we deal with it at this point. So shout out to her for having three jobs. Shout out to her for having three jobs. But I would like to always know, which we, we've we done this since I first came on this channel. That it's always at the end where they say it's not right, it's not fair. And we're like, uh-uh, let's go back to the beginning. Remember we started this about all these women who were being taken out of here by these surprise, crazy-ass ninjas, all right? Darkest and Demarcus. And then when we went back to the beginning of the story, not only was that person already a criminal in and out of jail, already did red rum, already was an abuser, already did all these things that was like um, probably not the best person to choose to not only have lived with you, but to have be uh, a parent to your child. Remember the girl in, um, in Philly, I think it was two years ago, they had like seven girls together and then he came out and S-T-A-B-B E'd her, E-D'd her in her head and just left her. Y'all remember that? I wonder what happened with that now that I'm th- um, thinking about it. In, in the heart of Philly, that happened. And then the brother of her, I think it was, or the pastor came out and said something like, it was something crazy, like, uh, like, but you choosing these people. 
And in this case, you knew who this person was. It was not unclear. And rest in peace to that lady and prayers to those kids because I'm not saying anything negative to her. What I'm saying is, is that we got to acknowledge these choices, child. But that's just crazy talk, right? From a white supremacist. Shout out to Auntie Ruckus. Shout out to Sin as well. Thank you, hun. She's, he said, she, so she bred with losers, no hopers. Nug Nug, Pookie and Ray Ray. Damn. <laughs> Darkest and Demarcus. And when times get tough, you complain because you couldn't pick right or keep your pants on. Allegedly. 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 So we don't have that information. We don't. But she's not mentioning uh, uh, she that they were with their fathers while she worked or they were there to help or they came over to what? None of that. So I'm assuming they're not here. I'm assuming they're not here. And I don't know if it's more than one. That's why I'm a believer in let's get the whole story, child. Don't give, don't feed us a little bit. Give us all damn story. Shout out to Luke Casey in the building. Thank you so much, hon. Always, always, always good to see you. Appreciate you. She said, vote for Kamala and she'll send you to war. <laughs> Joe Biden also said that the economy is doing good and crime is down, child. So make sure y'all vote for the AKA who will be sworn in by a DST on MLK Day. That's all that matters. And I'm sure these videos will go away real quick. Shout out to Casey Cat with another 10. Thank you, hon. She said, I'm a vet. My daddy was a Marine. My daughter is one year from full military retirement as an Army combat medic and her former husband. My sister-in-law is buried in the Iraqi Freedom Section at Arlington. Salute to them all. And you as well. Salute to you, Casey Cat. People can, you know, shout out to everyone who is here, but you know I'd be mainly talking to you colors, all right? Keep listening to people that done come up, did whatever they needed to do in order to get to where they are, knowing damn well they came from nothing, while they tell you that you can't do it due to damn racism and stay where you at. And call me all the names that you want to. Ain't none of that got nothing to do with you, your choices, and what it is that you choose to to do for you and yours. Keep listening to Ebony K. Williams. Keep listening to Roland Ricky and D.L. Hughley and Steve Dam Harvey. Child, let's get back to her. Money for that day, you guys. So I have to come out here and do DoorDash and Uber Eats and all this stuff to make extra money. I had already spent my full, full, full day going to this $18 an hour job. And then I have to tend to kids after that because nobody can watch my kids for 24 hours. So I got to get the kids. And then sometimes, y'all, I got to take the kids with me out dashing. And we're out all day, all night sometimes dashing because that's what I have to do in order to stay afloat. I don't get any type of rental assistance. I don't get any type of you know, benefits except food benefits, you guys. And the food benefits that I do get, it's not full food benefits because I'm working. So when I run out- I get food benefits, but it's not full food benefits. Child, can anybody tell me what full food benefits is? Bueller, Bueller. Cause, cause I'm not getting any food benefit. Okay, I get the benefit to, to um, put that DoorDash order in and pay them damn prices. That's the benefit. Shout, shout out to Coupon and though. I'm working on it, y'all. <laughs> Shout out to Coupon and child. I'm working on it. All right. But what I know y'all will know. It don't seem to be working out well for me at CVS and Walgreens. I'm just letting you know. All right. But anyway, uh, but but yeah, child, like you getting some benefit and it's still a complaint. So what did what what are we what is it supposed to be? Is it supposed to be the 3000 like that lady said in that one video where she said she got seven kids and gets 3000 a month in food stamp benefits? How many times do I have to say that the government ain't here to take care of you? And if that's what you think, then I wish you the best of luck. I wish you the best of luck. Child, they'd be better off going down to Dalton and letting Big Tiff help you. There's an option. Out of those benefits for the month to feed the kids, I got to spend cash on food because that's just what it is. And y'all, I'm not complaining in this video. I'm literally just ranting to you guys, venting you guys, telling you guys what it is for me. I know this is probably what it is for a lot of other people too, but I'm just speaking about it. So I know I'm gonna get opinions and I know I'm gonna have people saying, you know, what they wanna say, that's cool. I always tell you guys, I made this channel to speak my mind and I gotta talk, I gotta talk about it, y'all. <laughs> so to me, it's really baffling when, when, I, when I talk to people about this and people make it seem like life is not hard. This is hard. Every single day, having to get up and make money seven days a week. There's not a day that I could really take a break, you guys. Sometimes I'll sit around and like lounge around for a little bit and try to rest and, you know, just, you know, get some rest because my body be running 24, 24, 24 all the time. 
And so some some days I'll take a day like a Sunday or something and chill the whole day. But me chilling that whole day is detrimental because I don't got money. I don't got I don't got money to keep up with all these bills. Um, you know, I pay somebody to watch my kids. Like nobody's watching my kids for free. So when I am out here making money, them people are getting paid. And it's just like it's never ending, you guys. And it seemed like the cost of living is only getting worse. Things are only getting more expensive. I don't think things have never went down. Really? Is it anybody? Bueller. Shout out to Jim. He said, wow, I spend cash on food too. Anyone else? <laughs> anybody else that spends money on food? Bueller. Bueller. So I'm gonna go back to I'm gonna go back to see if I can find there's no coupons at Aldi's either shit is on sale or it's not because I shop at Aldi's but um I'm gonna try to see if I can make it happen over at Acme Child Acme Chicken is so good I don't need it but Acme Fried Chicken is so damn good Woo! Roll Farm Chicken is too salty I don't eat it no mo no mo when I just I'm like all right let's just get something because I don't feel like cooking. Oh, love me some. I'm so black. I'm, I love fr fried chicken. It's so ghetto. I love fried chicken and watermelon. Child. But I'm Uncle Ruckus anyway. But I love watermelon and it's been expensive too. Too expensive. I get it once in a while, but they, people act like the rest of us ain't making no choices too. But keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. What is that? Definition of insanity thinking that you're going to get a different result. So it's confusing to me how people, they ask me why I'm complaining. This is not easy. Maybe people who are saying that are people who get, who have section eight or they have a spouse or they have some type of help. But when you're a single mom and you don't have no help, nobody's helping you pay the bills, um, paying full rent. Like I told you guys, I don't get no rental assistance paying full rent. This is not easy. Sometimes I sit up here and I wonder, you guys, I used to live in a luxury apartment, $2,600 for a two bed, two bath apartment, you guys. Sometimes I wonder how I was even doing that by myself, but I was. But I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I got zero sleep when I was living in that apartment because I had to bust tail. Now that I downgraded to a one bedroom, one bath for $1,600, you guys, I'm still having a bust tail because I'm still not making enough money to, to keep up with that, you know? All right, so let's not let that go past us. So at some point, which I'm assuming was before six, um, sorry, um, C19, she was living on her own at $2,600 a month. And then all of a sudden, three kids come out of nowhere. So that kind of lets us know, even though Ebony K. Williams want to tell y'all that it's easy just to be a single mom and then everything changed and now she can't afford anything. But she chose to have that $2,600, even though she said it was tough for her, but she made it work, right? She could have down, downgraded then. I'm assuming that this was before C-19. You could have downgraded then, but you wanted to live high off the hog, right? We, we can't just skip over these statements while people trying to say, oh, I'm a single mom. They ain't got nothing to do with nothing at the end of the day. That sounds to me, again, to me, to me, financial literacy is a problem. Financial literacy, literacy is a problem. And listen to the people on TikTok because they know all and then help you to do stupid stuff like think that there's a chase glitch. Now your asses is going to jail. Oh, so I'm just really wondering like how people are doing this. Um, and I know how they're doing it. They're working two and three and four jobs because you have to. There's nothing else to do. As far as the job goes, jobs are not paying people enough money. And now it's the job's fault. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to go on to the, it's the jobs' fault because they're not paying money. Ma'am, they're going to pay you what they pay you. Do you negotiate your pay is the real question. And why not spend the time to go look for another job, especially since you are younger than I, right? Okay. When you get older, it's going to be tougher to change around to jobs. So you better figure it out when you're younger, but y'all don't want to listen because you think that older people don't know anything. They just be talking because they ain't got nothing else to say. But if someone told these people to do something low vibrational, they'll do that in a minute. Now, I'm not saying that this woman did the uh, chase um, glitch thing, which is not real, but I'm going to just call it what they call it. People will go to do the scam and do the come up, but not do the work that's needed in order to get you where it is that you need to go. So the question now is, do you even know where you want to go? I just feel like no one has a damn plan. And then they get into the situations and then are like, everybody's supposed to have empathy and sympathy because now they have to face the consequences of the decisions that were made. 
if she was already living in $2,600 a month and, you know, had anxiety because of that and then turned around and had kids, like, ma'am, what? You weren't ready. You just said that you were not ready. I know everybody makes a mistake, right? Cool. One mistake, two, three. There could be some, there could be some, maybe they triplets, y'all. Maybe they triplets. Let me calm down. It could be triplets. And lots of good jobs are not hiring. Now, I'm not going to say that jobs are not hiring at all because there are jobs that are hiring. I mean, I have a job, but it's like, ooh, guys, dang, she did that turn wide. I have a job. Hold on, y'all. Let me check to see where I'm at real quick. Is that going to take C Street Brand Washington 18? All right, y'all just had to see where I was at. Turn right on the C Street. You guys, about two weeks ago, I was driving down um, one of the highways in my area where I live at work, taking a client to their doctor's appointment, you guys. Um, I do medical transport, so I was driving, you guys, in the middle of driving. I literally passed out and woke back up. And I'm like, whoa, what was that? And, you know, I went to the doctor, talked to the doctor about it. They checked my blood pressure, all that stuff. My blood pressure was high, y'all. My blood pressure was high. And they were like, are you under a lot of stress? What's going on? Like, are you drinking enough water? Are you resting? All this stuff. And I'm like, yes. Like, I have to answer yes to all those questions because, yes, I am under stress. Yes, I'm I'm drinking. I'm probably not drinking enough water, but I'm trying to drink water. But I got to work and I got to do all this stuff. And, um they ask are you resting i'm like as much as i can but i have to get up and work i have to get up and be a mom i'm a single mom i have to do this and they're like well you need to take better care of yourself because you only have one life all this stuff and i totally understand that we only have one life but the world that we live in is making us have to be to, to work like we're a robot to work like we don't only have one life to work like our life is unlimited i'm so scared for the future of my kids i'm scared for my future I'm scared right now, you guys, because it really seems like we are not, we're going to have to work until we die. Literally. We're going to have to work until we die. I have applied for a, sorry guys, this camera angle is crazy. I promise you guys, I have applied for a hundred jobs. A hundred good paying jobs that I think I would qualify for because of the certifications that I have, you guys, and have not got hired at one job. Every day I get an email saying, sorry, we decided to pursue other candidates. Unfortunately, you know, there's a lot of people in our pool and we decided to go with the person that best qualifies for this position, all this stuff, y'all. You know, you do, you, you know, it's taken a lot of effort to try to get a job. Like you literally have to keep calling these places. Keep It definitely is effort when you are job searching, um, trying to find another position. It You know, when it was easier, in my opinion, when I was j- going from job to job, because typically what I used to do is every two years, every two years I was doing something new. I got laid off and it was the best thing that ever happened to me because then I realized, oh, that's how you make more money. You don't stay at the same job. You move on. Unless you're moving up in some great corporation, you move on to the next company. So where I'm at now is probably where I'm going to stay because it is a job trying to find a job. You got to put effort into it. You might have to change the email. You might have to make some contacts. You might have to reach out to other people at other places, all that type stuff. It was easier. You know when it was easier? It was easier. I was just talking to um my husband about this. So we went back presidents. It was easier under... Um, George V Jr. George Jr. and um, Bill Clinton. Getting the job was like nothing under Bill Clinton and um, young George. So I don't know if they had anything to do with it, but all I'm saying is, is that it definitely was a lot easier, especially under Clinton. Clinton, child, Clinton, you had all the money in the world. All these banks was out here wilding. You can have all the money in the world, which wasn't real money, but everybody was out here wilding. That's how we ended up in 2008 trouble. We about to have the same thing happen again. We about to have the same thing. How are we going to go talk about all that student loan stuff and how bad it is? It's not right. It's not fair. It's too much. The rates and I can't afford it, blah, 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 blah. People turn around and it's still taking them out. People turning around and still taking out student loans after all this sugar honey iced tea talk for the last two damn years. Uh, um, uh, debt, the student loan debt getting um, waived by some, even though it's been paused right now. And people still out here taking the damn loans, child. These people clearly aren't playing the game of life with these people. Keep bugging these places and even doing that is not working. 
So I don't know what is going on in today's world, but it is not good at all. A lot of people always tell me, oh, you need to take a vacation. You need to go relax. You're overly stressed. You're overly worked. I'm like, is that possible to do? Is it possible to go take a vacation and then come home and all your bills will be paid? Is that possible to do? It's possible when you're partnered with someone, because even though when we started, we had nothing. I've told you all about this before. We got paid once a month. These people think they should have a Kim Kardashian lifestyle as soon as they realize what a Kim Kardashian lifestyle is most of the daggone time. Then you want to go and and have children and act like, you know, as long as they fed, you're doing the best that you can. And we just supposed to ignore the six-year-old that took a weapon to the, um, to the school and flashed it around and let the good mama out. We just supposed to ignore all that. We got a lot of ass backwards thing going wrong in the community, in the community, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to call it. But guess what? It can't be a bed of roses every second of every hour of every day. And then when you, the fastest, let me rephrase the fastest way, excuse me, to be poor, low income, impoverished is to be single and have kids. It's been proven over and over and over and over again. And I know one of you bitches is going to come through. Not me, not me. All right. All right. Let's always go with the one offs and then make life decisions off of that child. Please. We didn't go anywhere. We was home listening to Dr. Dre, the chronic album play and, and enjoying each other and that baby. That's it. Wasn't going nowhere. Fast forward about 10 years later, we could go on vacation. Fast forward another 10 years later, we can go wherever the hell we want to. But y'all know, we don't, no, 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 no. It's not right. It's not fair. We got to work 24 hours a day. I don't have enough time in the day. I'm a single mom. I'm gonna say, now you a single mom. Shout out to Brandon Jamal. We got to go listen to him. We haven't listened to him in a while. Not today, though. Not today, though. Shout out to our girl, uh, Lisa, in the building. She said, no one shows up to my wealth building work. No one shows up to my wealth building workshops in the hood, nor the home buying seminars. And we have grant money out there. Uh, I've never bought a house using 20% of near none bit of my own money. Near none. Near none. This is what I'm talking about. The information is out there. The the money is out there. But, you know, unless it's some, I don't even know. That, that will require work. That, that will require work, Lisa. You know that, right? And, and then you give these seminars for people to get the information. Nobody wants to show up. But child, you know, when it, and that's free. Okay. Let's not get it twisted. What she's talking about right there is a free service that she is providing one for the community two for her business. Shout out to you. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but it's also free. And you know how we like free, but not the hard free stuff, the easy free stuff. We like free stuff. Huh? So we came out here to get all this free stuff. Huh? But then the car said, you can't get the free stuff. What? The people want to take it. And how y'all going to take some stuff that ain't even yours? It's free. Yeah. 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 So I got my two baskets and took the bus or whatever. Wait a damn minute. We get down here, we get some free stuff. We're already in a recession. Times are hard. Why not just let us get the items and invest and be okay? We are black women. We care about our crown. Why not give back to the community and let us get the product? The, the tools, any other eviction. <laughs> Shout out to uh, uh, Child Ready Player 2. Is that what we're saying here? I'm a CPA and get told the same thing. What is she talking about? I'm hoping we can make it to retirement in this last job, job hunting. Thank you so much, Sean. Appreciate you all for being here. Please hit the like button, subscribe if you are new. Decline management, always going to reference FDMG Academy. <laughs> Shout out to the WAP, man. He said FDMG School of Business MBA program. Yeah, let's all take that class as soon as it's available. <laughs> No, it's not. Like, I'm not talking to the ones that are financially free or the ones that have husbands and they can be a stay-at-home moms or the ones that have, you know, making $500,000 a year. I'm not talking to y'all. And, you know, kudos to y'all. I can't wait to be in that position, but <laughs> I don't know, man. 
I'm trying to be positive about everything. I'm trying to speak, you know, financial freedom into existence for myself. But what I'm dealing with right now is... Wait, you trying to do what? what, what wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Girl, what? Making $500,000 a year. I'm not talking to y'all. And, co- you know, kudos to y'all. I can't wait to be in that position, but... <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm trying to be positive about everything. I'm trying to speak, you know, financial freedom into existence. For- I'm trying to speak financial existence in... the. Shout out to uh, Mr. Akon. You over here trying to manifest. I'm trying to speak financial ex- uh, fin- uh, financial freedom, I guess, into existence. Child, you know you can go um, to the library and get a book. Amazon sell books as well. Read up. See what you need to do. Talk to the CPA um, in the chat. Talk to Lisa, the realtor in the chat or something like that. Child, that's just crazy talk. That's just crazy. Now, obviously, she's not in a position to buy a home or anything like that. Child, there's a pocket watching with JT. There's um, Orlando Minor. There's so many people that can help you, but you're going to... It's the same thing when it comes to um, um, weight loss. If you ain't going to follow the rules and it ain't going to help, child, I know I eat jalapeno kettle chips. Child, I know what the problem is. (laughs) Child, I'm going to eat me a kettle chip jalapeno flavor. That is my vice. I ain't going to hold you, all right? But I'm not out here blaming it on racism either. The racism that you're experiencing and the struggle to make ends meet actually means the diet don't work for you the same. Rose, hope is a strategy tried true by Jesse Jackson. Keep hope alive, child. Keep hope alive. If Jesse said it, then it must be true. For myself, But what I'm dealing with right now is crazy. Like, I need the blueprint. I need I need the the sauce. Like, what are y'all doing to get financially free? It's like if you don't know somebody, if you're not born into money, if you I don't know, and some people just get lucky. I don't know. But if you're not born into it or you don't know anyone and some people get lucky. Wow. Wow. That's what it is, y'all. Okay. Oh, Lord, help your people. Shout out to Samsung. He said the oil is very bad, worse than chips. Child, I don't even care. I don't even care. They so good. I get one bag every time that I uh, go grocery shopping. One, and I'm going to eat it all in the same day. I ain't going to hold you. I ain't going to lie. Then there's nothing else. Then there's nothing else. But, whoo, so good. So good. So good. But if you don't have any of those things going on for yourself, you're in poverty. I'm in poverty. I'm. I've been in poverty. I would. I would say that I've been in poverty. I would say that we have been in poverty. Okay. What you gonna do? You gonna stay there, or you gonna, you know, do what you need to do? Now we had two parent household with one kid, and then got good, and then said, "All right, let's have another kid," and then I was done. But I certainly weren't. Wasn't still in poverty, and then having more kids, and then having more kids, and then having more kids. I wasn't doing that. I also said, we're not going to stay in no apartment either for a long ass time. I said that. I said, here the plan. I said, here the plan. <laughs> here the plan. And the plan worked. Two years of renting an apartment, been a homeowner ever since. No, um, no. Now we not throwing money away like that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. One bill away from being homeless. Um, every month I could be homeless. Every single month, you guys. And y'all know I just came from being homeless back in May. So to go back to that is the most, I'm so fearful, y'all. Like, I'm so scared to go back to that, to go back to living in hotels, to go back to some nights having to sleep in my car, calling all these different parking lots to park in so that I can have somewhere safe to be for the night. It's scary. Y'all, I couldn't get into a shelter. I was calling shelters every single day, getting put on waiting lists, trying to figure out, you know, having to watch my phone to see if I receive a call. And y'all in the middle of me, work, you know, I have to work and I drive for work, you guys. So like sometimes I couldn't even answer my phone if there was a call that came in because I'm transporting a client somewhere. Like it's scary, you guys. Some days I couldn't even answer my phone to see if I even got approved to get in the shelter. But I couldn't get into no shelters. I couldn't get into no type of nothing, y'all. It was very scary. And every month I'm just like, I'm so scared that I'm going to be in that position again. Because I don't have nobody to really lean on. I don't have no family that's going to be like, oh, yeah, come stay with me or come do this. Y'all. 
Child, listen, no offense, but that's not what your family is supposed to be there for anyway. Obviously, you know, if things got that bad, you know, hopefully they will help. I think I told you about the story where my daughter moved into a place with a bat and, you know, I said, you you coming home because you're not going to have my grandchild in no damn apartment with a bat. You you coming home. All right. But um, but for her to do the um, what she needed to do for the uh, apartment, I told her what to do as in read the landlord tenant agreement. I wasn't doing it for her. I wasn't doing it for her. I said, read the landlord tenant agreement and you'll figure it out. I will help you with your questions. You're doing this. Cause I knew that's where the answers were and she did it. She figured it out. She sent what she needed to do, did what had to be done, got her security deposit back, got her daggone money back and was able to move on to where she needed to move on to. But the point is, is that there wasn't no, well, what was me? It's not fair getting on tick. Well, wasn't no TikTok then, but getting onto the internet saying, what was me? What was me? What was me? Um, yeah, you have to figure this out. Now, the only reason that I, I, I allow her to come home is because of the baby. Other than that, I've been like, girl, be careful. That bad shit. That's a mess. You know, because sometimes we got to learn. I'm only kidding. She could, of course, they can always come home. But it has to be for a valid reason. It's just not because it's so hard. No, that that's life. Get your ass on out there and figure the fuck out. Sorry for your luck. Sorry for your luck. But. You know, those people don't want to read uh, anything and get the answers or want to try to. Um, decline management, not a a winged bat, sir. A baseball, <laughs> a winged bat. Yes, a winged bat, a bat, an animal bat. Yes, I can't with y'all sometimes. Just crazy. Um, but you you can't just say it's everybody else and it's the economy and it's this is that it's this is that it's this is that. Like we gotta start making some decisions. Are we gonna continue to just act like? Out here having all these kids and being willy nilly about it is the best way. <laughs> CRP. <laughs> Are we just going to continue to act like that? That's not a problem. We're just going to continue to allow it to be right. And then when someone says something to try to say, you know, that's probably not the best way. Then that makes me the white supremacist for trying to point some things out to y'all. All right. Not y'all. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I sit here and I really just, really just pray to God every month that I'm able to cover my rent, that I'm able to cover my bills, that I'm able to feed my kids like every single month, you guys. And then I get up every day and I come out here and I grind and I bust tail. I do all this while having anxiety attacks. I do all this while getting ready to pass out. It's just been a lot. Like when I tell you guys that I've been passing out, it, that's even scary. That puts even more anxiety on me because I'm like, I know that I'm overworking myself, getting ready to give myself a stroke. Child, that scares me, too, because I don't want her to be behind me in the car. But we have to do this. There's nothing else that we can do. It's either do this or don't eat. Do this or be homeless, y'all. But I just wanted to pick up this camera and kind of vent to you guys and just let you guys know how I feel about how the world is and just let you guys know my situation. And maybe there's people out there that are going through the same thing who can really get motivation off this, who can know that you're not alone. We're all out here struggling real bad, like real bad. I can't sugarcoat nothing at this point. It's getting scary out here. And, and y'all, we just got to keep on keeping on. Don't give up. Take care of yourself, though, because that's very important. Because if you don't take care of yourself, you won't be able to do any of this. And you don't want that. So stay strong, y'all. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Have those post notifications turned on. Anyway. So we we got through it. So that's that's what I wanted to bring to y'all. We done with this. We done with this. You know better than to feed me anything, um, because I do not care. <laughs>